Yes, of course, because when the spring knocks, knock, you answer. Um, thanks for those. I think you're being quite um, uh, conservative, actually. I think the Springboks and the Pound Seed to have a massive victory, but huge changes to the team. 13, in fact, most notably, Sia Khaleesi being rested. Uh, Mr. Britz comes in as our standing captain. Wynona Lowe comes in as a rugby writer, an all-round awesome human being. Um, you also kind of going up the score a little bit yeah, there. Yeah, hopefully Come the on. score doesn't look anything um, like those uh, uh, predictions. Uh, are you, so yeah. Before we move on to tomorrow's game against our neighbours, Namibia, um, which will be a great test, a great opportunity to mm. test certain combinations. And certainly their back three love that. What do you make of the Springboks' performance against the All Blacks? Did you see something to be alarmed about? Or was it just a case of the All Blacks capitalising on two mistakes? Because it wasn't a, like a, a massive score yeah. difference. How do you feel about that game? I just feel like, I, I don't think it was as bad. I think, you know, obviously we're more just disappointed because I think, you know, just in terms of after that first quarter, things just kind of shifted after that. But I think for me, the standout thing was just, they didn't really adapt. So, yeah, and I think, you know, rather now and now get that over and done with. So hopefully, you know, we don't see those struggles again. But I think that to me was the biggest thing. The standout thing, they couldn't adapt. Um, Just stop yeah, kicking they, the ball. So, yeah. Just stop kicking. <laughs> yeah, so... Um, Just had to get that out of my system because I, I think a lot of us were feeling that frustration. So, um, Rossi has made some, some big changes. Um, Brits moves to the back and comes in as standing captain. We we've know now, I think he is the second oldest... World Cup yeah. representative for yeah. South Africa um, behind Victor Matfield. Um, so congratulations on that front. But we know that he can captain the side and there's a leadership kind of yeah. circle within that team. Why move him out of hooker? I think, you know, Rassi did say that his plan was to give him 60 minutes. It seems like he's going to play full 80. So give him 60 minutes at number eight and then he's going to, you know, obviously move him to, to number two. So I think it's just he did say that should any injuries come up, he, he will that. see him as a backup. So, okay. so I think it's more, you know, just testing, but of experimentation. So, yeah. Looking at, it didn't look like Sia was at 100%. No. Um, no. Do you rest him or do you play him to bring him back to, to 100? I think it's actually, you know, just playing him off the bench. I think that's good because he, obviously, I think that was quite clear. He did struggle a bit. Um, and also, you know, he hasn't, the, in terms of game time, he hasn't got so much in there since returning from injury. So I think, you know, resting him completely Manage might it, not yeah. have been yours. Yeah. So just managing him properly. So I think, yeah, it's a good call. Um, and uh, he'll be itching knowing him. He's a confidence-based player. So he needs time on the yeah. field to be able to build yeah. that confidence. Unfortunately, Jesse has been ruled out, um, pulled a, a strain during training. But um, let's talk about that back three. Really exciting. Um, Mapimpi hasn't scored yet, but yeah. you know, coming off a, a hat-trick in his previous game, you know that he's, he is up for it. Warwick Halanta and Sabu and Kosi is probably my favourite player in the team at the moment. This is dynamic, this is exciting. Expect the boys yeah. to fire. Look, I must say, I was kind of hoping that Rossi would give Colby a run at 10. I mean, at 15, at sorry, 15. at 15. Yeah, that yeah. would be a problem at 10. Um, yeah. He could probably so, do it, but yeah, well, I feel you. Yeah. Yeah. But at 15, you know, just because I feel it's so, like, it's a pity, you know, having to kind of substitute and just kind of, you know, Shifting him or rotating him in course, which is not really going to be the case because I think, you know, he's you, kind of, you know, locked that down. I would rather have them both on the field. So exactly. So, and especially, yeah. I think maybe that's exactly what Willie needs, you know, just because he's, he's, he's an amazing player and he's going to be a real game break. But I think this season we haven't really seen that from him. So I would have liked to see, you know, Cheslin maybe at 15. Warwick, of course, deserves a shot. He, he certainly does. But I think, you know, imagine Sabu and Cheslin in the same, that's you know, two, back that's three. That's very that's, much yeah. our, two of our X-Factor yeah. players. We talk about that, but so. these, these guys are firing at the moment. Um, going to be very exciting to, to watch them play. Kwaka Smith uh, back on the field, Francois Lowe. Who is our best loose trio, do you think? I, maybe last year I wouldn't have given the same response. But I th uh, you know, after just, you know, the kind of games they've, or performance of, performances they've produced together, I still go with, you know, Dwayne, Peter Steff, and then Sia. But I think this is definitely, you know, just having Kwaka in there. I love him as a player. He's, he's a real exciting player. He's a baller. And he so, gives yeah. so much. Yeah, and even his basics, you know, yeah. and you need that kind of speed. So I think it's, this is, it's going to be exciting just seeing how this works out. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited about that. Namibia making 11 changes as well. Um, how do we feel about this team? Um, is there an upset? Is there, what do we learn from a match against Namibia? South Africa doesn't traditionally play incredibly well against yeah. weaker sides. Yeah. We generally save that for the, for the big guns. Um, wh what are we wanting to get out of this team and, and what do Namibia present to us? 
I think just mostly, obviously, Namibia, you know, with the opener, obviously didn't, did not go their way. Um, but I think, you know, this but is mostly... they didn't mostly, get thumped. Yeah, so, yeah. No, yeah, it was like a 20 points different. Well, that's, yeah, it it's, could have been worse, <laughs> could have been worse. Um, but, you know, I think just, you know, working on those areas from last week, um, for example, just how, again, um, they struggled a bit at the breakdown in terms of how the All Blacks, you know, just tried to, they didn't contest much. So they just tried to, you know, align and get their defence sorted. And I think we didn't really, you know, get that quickly enough. So I think just fixing those kind of things also under the eye ball, um, our defence at certain times. So it's, I think it's more going to be about just working on those work-ons. And just getting the confidence back also. And of course, it's another game in those conditions, so that can all, it, it can't be a bad thing. So I think, you know, mostly just fixing those areas and just getting the confidence back up there. A wonderful opportunity testing, to actually course. have. Yeah, a wonderful, those wonderful opportunity. Players, yeah. Um Sibu Sison, of course, he watched this man. I have a feeling he's going to get the hat-trick this weekend. Um, but of course, the match kicking off at a quarter to 12 tomorrow. I know you are an absolute legend. I feel like we share one rugby mind. Please, please don't kick the ball away. <laughs> <laughs> run it to our unbelievable wings. That's yeah. what we want to see tomorrow. But you can continue to give us those score predictions. I'm going to say up it. Raise the stakes just a little bit. It's South Africa up against Namibia in the Rugby World Cup.